There we go. All right, so <laughs> let me tell you guys what's going on. And I'm glad that I started, I wanted to vlog my um, coming off my medication thing because you guys can definitely, I'm sure, tell the difference. Crazy Gina is coming the fuck out to play. <laughs> um, and maybe you guys could help me out here. I'll give you the phone number of the doctor's office who kicked me off their practice and you can say, eh, just want to let you know, Gina's not doing too good. <laughs> maybe you guys could consider helping her out. Let's see how many phone calls we can get into that doctor's office. Maybe I'll post it here <laughs> or something like that. Just don't tell them that I posted the number. Just be like, I'm calling for concern. Let me tell you though. I wake up this morning. First of all, I haven't been sleeping good. I used to nap during the day. Not doing very good at napping during the day. I go to sleep, wake up at like 5, 6 in the morning, and I'm up, ready to go. High strung, manic as hell. Hold on. I got a couple of pills, so I gotta take them because I can see where this is going. I'm sure you guys can see where this is going too, and it's not heading anywhere good. <laughs> Where's my even? So basically, I wake up, my sink is overflowed with fucking nasty water that has gone into the the drawers, out the drawers, onto the ground. I had w vitamins in there that are now like so the water is yellow and the cat's probably drinking it and it's like, dude, I am at my wits end. I'm about to just not pay the fucking rent this month. Um. But uh, that's actually my correct dose that I'm supposed to take of my Clonopin. So don't hate. But, um, sorry if that triggered anyone. I didn't really think of that. See, I'm not really thinking lately. But you know what I realized? I realized that if you are in my life and you can't handle me now when I'm at my worst, in a couple weeks or a month, when my shit gets back together and things are going good, do not, do fucking not try and come back into my life. If you cannot handle me at my worst, then you do not deserve to be around me at my best. Isn't that like a saying or something? So that's a memo. And I made it perfectly clear to a couple people this morning is this what you want? Do you want to not be in my life? Or do you want to? Make your fucking choice because after this, that's it. Like, I, I can't take it anymore. People, like, like, I am cut from a completely different cloth than all of these people that I know. I had a humble upbringing, not even just an upbringing. I lived humbly when I was an addict. I have been through many hardships. I have not had anything handed to me in my life. My life has been very difficult, and most of the people around me have uh, a lot of money, uh, good, good families, good like, and it's just we're so different. I'm so different from the people that I'm with that it we clash so hard. Like the worst part, the worst thing that I hate is when people cannot take accountability. Oh, oh I, I cannot, I could take accountability for everything I do. I know that I'm not always the nicest person. I, I can admit that I built this whole channel off of hate, okay? Before I turned it into something good, I built this channel off of hate. I can admit that. My neighbor. But I, uh, I got this pain like here because I can't even, I don't know if this is some type of malpractice. I don't know why my doctors thought it would be a safe idea to do this. And not only that, but I have access to the medication that I'm prescribed by a close friend but they're like monitoring it and they're not doing it the right way so I can't let the medication build up in my system like it's supposed to oh, <laughs> oh 
God, no one's a doctor. You guys, I am sure that over the next week, I am probably going to be a mess. Probably going to be, a oh my God, and then on top of that, I got a false positive on a drug screen for a drug that I don't even do on uh, the mouth swab. This is my fourth false positive for this same drug since I've been on this program. What if probation were to call them and it's just fucking stressed, dude, so found that out today, found that out that I had a false, uh, that, well, they, they're sending it back again to be retested because they can, they know it was a false positive, they're not, they know I haven't really done anything, I've been passing all my other tests, so it wouldn't really make much sense, and I continuously am having false positives for this one particular drug, and I do not know why, and it's not like weed or alcohol, it's something else, and it's like, it's like, why the hell is this even happening? And, oh, you guys, I definitely need some support right now. Emotional support, moral support. I literally posted my number on the internet the other day on video and didn't even realize it. I made a phone call to somebody and left a message with my phone number, posted it on YouTube, and didn't even realize that I put my number in the freaking video. I just doxed myself. Like, a couple of you have my phone number, and like, a couple of people were like, oh, well, you know, she uses an app most of the time anyways. Nope, that was my phone number. Like, <laughs> so... You guys, I need, a, I need a moderator right now. Somebody who can, like, help me with this. Because somebody who I can send my videos to first and they can overlook everything and let me know, yes, this is safe to upload. If you want, if you would love to be a moderator for me, let me know. <laughs> because I, I need a, I, not only for YouTube, I need a life one too. I need like somebody sitting right here that says, Gina, don't say that. Or Gina, say that. The only thing that I like about when I'm in this manic state is that I'm not a little bitch anymore. Like, like my feelings and my opinions are going to come out. Like, the way that I feel is going to come out. Okay? I don't, see, I don't even know where I'm going with this video. I just literally came on here to rant, I think. Should I go live later? What time is it now? I'm gonna upload this now. Right now it's 9.51 Eastern Time. I might go live in two hours, or at one o'clock, okay? Um, so be there, one o'clock, refresh my channel, it'll be around then. I'm gonna upload this for now, and I'm gonna go and try and relax for a little bit. Boy, oh boy, do I wish I could take a shower and relax, but I can't. I gotta take, where are they, hold on, oh my pants are falling down, I hope you guys didn't see that, I got baby wipes, cause I have to take military showers, if you've been in the army then you know like, you know, yeah. when you're like deployed you have to, the baby wipes, but that's what I've been doing, oh, would you guys like to see, <laughs> the floor. I'm just going to carry the whole, you know what, I'm just going to take the camera off, hold on. Alright, so you guys can see like the shininess on the floor and all the shit everywhere. Um, this comforter is soaked. Like, you can hear it, like, you see how soaked it is? And I, uh, this drawer is the drawer it was coming out of, there's all the vitamins that melted down into like, and that I, see what I'm saying? I put these tap, dude, it's horrible right now. And I, uh, my problem is, is that they were supposed to come and fix this on a uh, Friday. Friday we had that huge snowstorm, so nobody came. So now I have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> On top of that, um, 
over the summer, I have an AC over, hold on, right there, right there, okay? And when they were fixing the roof, they smashed down on it, broke it, I fixed it, and then somebody came with a lawnmower and was trying to get so damn close that I smashed into it again, broke it again. So now it's like, do I ask my landlord who really already doesn't like me <laughs> um, to buy me a new AC and to knock some of my rent down for the fact that I had to buy a ton of baby wipes, bottled water, uh, dry shampoo, I can't, water for the cat, like, <sighs> I need some direction from you guys, and I need some help. And honestly, I don't say this very often, but I need some fucking help. Like, I need to find a doctor. Like, I didn't expect it, I didn't think it was, like, now I'm going manic down. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. Like, I feel like I'm about to cry now. Do you see how, like, this is how bipolar and manic people are, okay? And this is, like, the sad part about it is, like, like, I realize the fuckery that is my life right now because of this, and I have such a frontal headache. It's, like, I, I can't control anything. I can't control my thoughts. I can't control what I'm saying. I can't control what I'm doing, and I know it, and it's really, really shitty, and I still feel the same way, like, if you can't handle me right now, don't come around, because this is my, this is my chemical imbalance, this is the, what, this is not something that I even did to myself, this runs in the family, okay, so it's like, mm. I miss Trevor so freaking much, too, you guys. That's a big part of it. I'm pissed because he made so many mistakes. I'm pissed that... He did what he did. And it's at the point now where it's like... I haven't updated you guys on that. I He, he did do most of what he... I stuck up for him because I really believed him. But it, now it's very clear, it became very clear to me, and we've talked about it, that he did do a lot, not all, but he did do two really messed up things that he should be in jail for. Um, he did get accused of a lot of other things that he didn't do, but... Uh, so it's like, yes, I understand. He's got to, like, you do the crime, you do the time. Dude, but I need him here so bad, especially right now. Because, like, he knows how to handle me. He's, like, one of those people. He, like, so many people are so quick to jump, jump the boat, like, when I start going through these things. But he's the one person who stuck around no matter what. Who was like, you know what, dude, I'm not going to leave you or nothing. No matter how stressful it gets, no matter how hard it gets. Because he loved me bipolar or not, manic or not, high or not. Dude, I'm a fucking mess, and I'm really sad. Like, I'm, I just went from, like, super angry to super sad. You see what I'm saying? How, like, when you are dealing with somebody who's bipolar, as much as they piss you off in the moment, they could be lashing out being a jerk to you. Please understand that this is not them. And now, like, now, do, do, I'm glad that I'm recording my journey through coming off of my psych meds. Because it's good for me to play back and watch, too. But, that's, just goes to show, within ten minutes, I went from psycho mad to fucking sad. Like, crying sad. It's insane how this is, and I'm so sick of having this disorder and all of this. 
But I'm gonna cut this short now because you never know in 10 minutes I could be happy as hell again and I just don't want to be all over the place. Also, like, this is real life, real life shit right here. This is like real life mental disorder, chemical imbalance, bipolar, and manic. When you see people on the internet, like Joy, for example, who act like this, and you say, wow, your manic behavior, this is crazy, this is ridiculous, you need to do something. It's just, don't hate on anybody who suffers from this because you have no idea. Even Joy, I wouldn't even call her out on her manic or bipolar behavior because it fucking sucks. It sucks being the person, you know? But I'm going to cut this short, and I'm probably going to live stream around like 1 o'clock if you guys want to join. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be some type of shit show. Um, YouTube has been demonetizing my videos again, <laughs> which really sucks too, and that puts me in a bad mood because I went through that couple of days where you guys were really helping me out and my videos were doing good, and now they're not again, and it makes me really upset because, like, you know, I made a social repose video that got 100,000 views, and if only... 50% of those people would have subscribed, that would have been cool, but it's like, people only care when somebody's talking shit, and it's like, what about, <sighs> like, I don't even want to be that person anymore who's talking shit, you know, it's like, this day and age, it's like, do, <laughs> Is that how I have to, to, to make money and get by? Do I have to talk shit about people like Joy and Social Repose and Onision? Do I, is that what it is? Do I have to put Jake Paul in the title of every video? Like, it's like, <laughs> or is this YouTube career going nowhere and should I just give up now? It has been a really hard week, you guys, but I will maybe see you guys at 1 o'clock. If you want me to live stream, then give this video a like and let me know in the comments. Love you guys.